Greetings guys, gals, non-binary pals, and welcome back to another video. I hope that you are well, and I hope that you are fighting, because there is a lot to be fighting for. As usual, there'll be a link in the description to the page on my website with a bunch of petitions, donations, emails to send to MPs, etc, etc. Now, recently someone told me to look through a Twitter account of this man who is pro feminine woman, pro-controlling woman, uh, pro-misogyny actually is the best way to put it. That's his self-proclaimed title. He's like pro-misogyny. And I initially was not sure if this if man was like a troll or not, mainly based on his match. Like, <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Please, we're gonna go look at his match really quickly because I, we need to talk about this. It is so funny. It is so funny. So his name is Yogi Obes Reborn. Um, and look at this. I love the patriarchy, 1999. <laughs> just sexist in the friends font. Your body, my choice. How is this real? Obviously, right? You look at this and you think there is no way that this is real. No one is making and selling these. There's no fucking way. It's so funny. We should all be misogynists. $20. <laughs> it's so good. There's a mug that says I heart gender roles for $12. Feminism has made women fat, ugly, and on welfare, single, divorced, drunk, childless, and unhappy. <laughs> on a t-shirt! This is on a t-shirt. These are real things that this man is selling. You can't look at this and tell me that this is real. You, you're telling me this isn't satire. A woman's t-shirt that just says property. And this isn't satire, right? <laughs> I found this account because every now and then his tweets will go like viral and is quote tweeted by a bunch of people. The tweet that was circulating Twitter that made me find him was this one. How to look like a whore. Have bangs. Check. Wear oversized glasses. Check. Wear crop tops. I'm actually not today, but a majority of my t-shirts I buy and then cut them myself. Four, Doc Martens. Obviously, I'm gay. I have four pairs of Doc Martens. <laughs> Step five, baggy mom jeans. They're the only type of jeans that I own. Step six, paint on face. Makeup. I mean. <laughs> Step seven, overweight and obesity. Okay, sure. I. Step eight, dark lipstick. I don't often wear dark lipstick because I have really intense eyes, but I went through a phase of only wearing black lipstick for a good two years. Step nine, short bob haircut. Uh, I'm in need of a haircut right now, but check. Step 10, says F word. If you watch my videos, you know that it is every third word out of my mouth. Step 11, take selfies. <laughs> Step 12, leather jacket. I'm vegan, I don't own leather. Step 13, has only fans. So of them, I tick a majority. Um, so be it. What's, firstly, what's wrong with being a whore? Secondly, so what if I fucking am? Thirdly, huh? None of these things, no physical attribute or preferences at all indicate the amount of people you have sex with. None of those things indicate your sex life in any way. So what on earth? are you talking about? You can be all of those things and be a virgin, or you can be none of those things and be a slut. There's fucking nothing wrong with either of them. Sleep with who you want to sleep with. Do whatever the fuck you want with your body. Except right now in the pandemic, don't be doing that. Don't be having sex with a bunch of random people during the pandemic. Any other time, sure, go for it. It's a fun time. But right now, please don't be doing that. <laughs> anyway, I found this man. Um, and I could not take this seriously. I was convinced that it was satire. And then the more I went through his account, the more I realized I don't think this is satire. I think that this is real. I think that this man is being 100% genuine. And that's terrifying, but also so funny. It's so funny. So today I wanted to have a look at his Twitter. Uh, he also has a YouTube channel, so if you enjoy this, let me know and maybe we'll go through his YouTube channel next time. But we're gonna go through some of his best tweets. 
Let's go. A movement that claims to empower women does not support women staying at home and being housewives, even if that's what some women dream of doing. Tell me how feminism is pro-women again. Feminism is about choice. Exactly like you said, some women dream of being housewives and that is totally fine. If you want to be a housewife, you can be a housewife. If you want to be a stay-at-home mom, be a stay-at-home mom. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. If that is the agreed upon arrangement within your relationship with your partner that you want to do cooking, you want to do cleaning, you want to look after the kids, if that's what you want and that's what makes you happy, no one is stopping you from doing that. That is fine. Feminism isn't about taking that away from women. It's about giving women the choice to do that or to work or to be independent or to do whatever they want. That is what feminism is. I personally do not wish to be a housewife. I don't want to be a stay-at-home mom. I don't want to mother some man. I don't want to be a mother to a child as well as a husband. You know, I don't want that life. Hey, do you want to shut up? We live very close to the airport and it's very annoying sometimes. I like having the choice of working or being a housewife. I want everyone to have that choice and to be able to make that decision. We aren't trying to force anything on anyone. In the current climate, it is very, very difficult to live in a one income household, but if that's what you want and that is going to work for you, that is fine. We aren't trying to force anyone to do anything. You, however, are. Let people make the decisions they want and live the lives they want to. If you want to be with someone who wants to be a housewife, find someone who wants to be a housewife. Stop telling everyone they have to conform to your ideologies. Live your life, let me live mine, okay? It's not that difficult. Just shut up and live your own life. Stop expecting everyone to cater to you. You aren't the only man. You don't decide what everyone else wants. You are not God of the planet like you think that you are. Hundreds of thousands of innocent children are murdered by abortion clinics each year, but a handful of real murderers and criminals are going to get executed under Trump and that's a problem. That's the tolerant left for you. I can't tell if this is anti-abortion or anti-death penalty. <laughs> If it's anti-death penalty, I completely agree. The death penalty is absolutely terrible. It's awful. It is ineffective and it's scientifically been proven to be ineffective. It is illegal or outlawed in so many places. A majority of the world have outlawed the death penalty. You just live in the States. And I don't know what the f goes on in the States, but I don't understand that country at all. I don't get it. I, it's different just a different world, that country, different world. I know most of you are there. I don't know how you do it. That country terrifies me. <laughs> but on the other side of that, is that saying like pro kill women? Are you trying to say that if murderers are being put on death row and you're promoting that, you're like, they deserve to be on death row and these women are murdering children so they should be on death row. What the fuck, man? What? Firstly, that doesn't make sense. If you're pro-life, why are you now pro-killing women? A negative plus a negative does not make a positive. You don't bring back the life that was lost by killing someone else. I don't understand the death penalty. It doesn't make sense to me at all. It's stupid. It's ridiculous. I, and also women shouldn't be punished for having abortions. That's like a given. I've talked about this many times. Why Why do you care more about an embryo than a grown woman's life? Why is an embryo more important to you than a fully formed human life? What if that baby was born a female and grew up to be a whore? The, the worst thing in the world, according to you. Or worse, what if that baby grew up to have an abortion? Then, then you would be there saying that that woman that just had an abortion should die. So, listen, you don't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Just shut up. Like, honestly, the hypocrisy, I don't know what goes on in here, but I don't think it's much. Hello, I'm editing right now, and I realized that he called murderers real murderers. So he is very aware that people that get abortions aren't real murderers. He just completely contradicted himself, and I don't know how I didn't notice that when I was filming, but he knows, he's aware, he just hates women. Your daily dose of misogyny. Men want a woman who waits for her future husband at home with her parents, unspoiled by other men. She can't have masturbated even once or experienced any type of sexual thought. Her only sexual thoughts should be about him.
So a child. Is that what you're implying? A child. Because that's what it sounds like. Can't masturbate or have a single sexual thought ever? Literally, like, anyone over the age of what, 12? Probably younger? Have done those things. So you are looking for an actual child. Is that, is that what you're implying? Because if that's what you're implying, which it is, please remove yourself from society. Um, lock yourself up. You should not be allowed around children or just shouldn't be allowed, really. And also, I asked before, but I'd like to ask again, why are you speaking on behalf of all men? Men want a woman. No, they don't. You, you want that. You want a child. That's what you want. Not all men. A majority of men actually don't, well, no, I can't say a majority of men. That's the disappointing thing here is I cannot say a majority of men. A, a decent amount of men don't want that. A decent amount of men do not care. They do not care. Yeah, they exist. You are not the speaker of all men. You don't get to decide what other people want. You don't get to speak on behalf of everyone. Stop telling me what I have to do because it doesn't fit your preferences. I don't give a single what you think of me. I do not care. Most women do not give a fuck what you think. Your opinion means fuck all. Modern people erroneously believe that a woman should wait until she is 25 to get married because the brain finishes developing. But that's exactly why the courtship process should start well before that. She will learn better how to behave as a wife when she starts young. Oh! So you were talking about a child. That just confirms it. You are looking for a child to groom. You, sir, are over 25. You're out here being like, no, but I want a child so I can groom her and tell her how to act because I want to control another person. I want them to bend to my will. I want to abuse my power and abuse someone. That's gross. That's f***ed up. Lock yourself up. I said it before and I'll say it again. You are a danger to society if that's what you think and that's what you think women are. Women just exist for you to manipulate. Women are people. I don't know if you fucking knew that. Clearly you don't. We don't exist for you to control and to manipulate. We don't exist to please you. We don't exist to... We don't exist for you. I am a person. We are people. We have morals. We have thoughts. We have emotions. We are people. We do not exist for you. Stop thinking that you are better than us. Stop thinking you are above us. Stop thinking that we owe you because we don't. We don't owe anyone shit. We don't owe you anything. We are people. I don't know why we have to keep saying that. It's 2021 and we still have to tell men that women are people. I love empowering women to escape feminism, showing them that their future doesn't have to involve fostering cats, witchcraft, tender hookups, Netflix and chilling by yourself, hatred for men and no children. My guy? You just described the ideal future. But like, why like I can show women they don't have to have those things? So many women don't have those things. So many women don't want those things. And that's fine. Like I said at the beginning, this is all about choice. I personally would love those things. I, that's what I want. That is ideal. And I know many women who also want those things. We aren't being forced into having them. We are choosing to have them. That's the point. Everyone wants different things. Everyone wants to live their lives differently. That is the beauty of it. We are individuals. We are our own people. We make our own decisions. That's the human experience. Just let us live. Just let us live. Ladies, men view you as a set of three holes when you dress immodestly, cover up and display your inner beauty. Men will start to love you again and not just lust after you. I don't want to be with any man who views me as an object. If there is a man who looks at me and sees me as an object, I don't want anything to do with him. You are speaking on behalf of yourself. Once again, you view immodestly dressed women as three holes. You view them as objects. You do not speak on behalf of every man. Respectful men do exist. You're just not one of them. I don't care what men think of me. I don't exist for men. I don't exist for their opinions. I don't care. I don't exist for them. If I want to dress in fucking short shorts and a crop top, then I'm gonna do that because I don't care. 
Stop normalizing, sexualizing women. My body is my body. It is just that. It is a body. I will wear what I want. I will exist as I want. Nothing more. How I dress doesn't mean anything about who I am as a person or what I want. It just means that I like those clothes. That's it. It's not that hard to figure out. I think that I'm gonna leave it here because I can't do this anymore. This man is getting, I can't, I can't do it anymore. So I need to stop. <laughs> Let me know if you want another one of these. He has so many more tweets and also a YouTube channel. So if you want me to look at more tweets or if you want me to go through his YouTube video, drop a like, comment below, let me know. Um, because I'm happy to do another one. Well, not happy to, but I will do one. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm almost at 250k, which is absolutely wild. I would super appreciate it if you subscribed. Hitting a quarter of a mil would be fucking ridiculous. So that would be amazing. If you wanna, maybe you can do that. <laughs> a massive thank you to my Kiwifruit channel members whose names are up on the screen right now. And a big thank you to my channel member of the day, Darcy, I love and appreciate you so, so much. Thank you so much for joining. If you would like to become a channel member, you can click the top link in the description or the little blue join button. You get my videos a day early as well as 10% off my merch, which is currently available at thequeerkiwi.com slash shop. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, thequeerkiwi and Twitter, thatqueerkiwi. Like and subscribe, I said it already. I'm gonna say it again, just in case you forgot in between then and now. <laughs> I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Keep fighting. I love you. Mwah.